G'day everybody and welcome to this lesson for Pet Cheetah by 21 Pilots. There's a lot going on in this song percussively, so I've done my best to grab all the important bits and put them into parts that you can kind of play. That doesn't mean that it's going to be easy though, there's quite a few challenges in here, but let's jump on the kit and check it out. Here's the beat that we're going to use to start off the song, and the kick drums and the snare drums get used quite a bit right throughout the song, so I'll learn them now and we're going to use them again and again. The next four bars are a stripped back version of that with not really any hi-hats, there's kind of a cabasa or something going on, but if we grab those on the hats it'll sound like this. Now this next part of the verse, we're using the same kick drums and snare drums like I said at the beginning. This time I can hear another snare drum and I'm going to play that pattern up on the hi-hat, but it's a little bit tricky. It follows the riff. So if that's a bit tricky coordination wise for you to grab, just keep those straight eights going on the hi-hats just like a regular rock beat. Anyway, here's the version that I worked out. Then we're into a floaty kind of chorus section and the only tricky thing here is a fill at the end of the first four bars. Just that fill one more time. And then the next four bars of this section are a little more straightforward. Next up, there's six bars of a hi-hat pattern while there's a little rap section going on. Those quick triplets at the end of the second bar, I find easiest to stick right, right, left. But if you haven't done that before, maybe something else will work for you. But just keep that in mind. If you're having trouble and getting a bit turned around with your sticking, try out a right, right, left. All right, moving on. We bring the tempo up. We're going to double it. So now our snare drums are on beat two and beat four. And the beat sounds like this.
The next two bars are just a kick breakdown, so this will help you if you're not sure where we're up to in the song, you'll definitely be able to pick this part out. And then the last few bars of this section. I'll put that section back together. There's no drums for the next eight bars. When the drums come back in, there's a complicated hi-hat pattern going on over the top of our groove. For starters, let me show you an easy version that you could use. This is just straight 16ths on the hi-hats, but we still catch the kick snares and most of the fills as well. There are some variations throughout this section, so now I'm going to scale it up and we'll play the complicated hi-hats. But like I said, use the easy version if it's easier for you, and maybe you could still grab some of these variations as well. Anyway, let's start off with the first four bars. In the next four bars, some of the kick drums are on the very last 16th note of the bar instead of on the 8th note. We've got the same sort of vibe for the next four bars. And the last four bars have no fill at the end. That section is a pretty fun challenge, but it's not going to come easy, so take your time with it and practice, practice, practice. Speaking of which, we're into our final section now. We've got a snare drum fill leading in after a little break, and then we've got this crazy, crazy section. I've had to scale it back a little bit because I could hear a kick drum and a floor tom and maybe another kick drum sound as well. I've just put everything down on the kick drum. We've still got some pretty crazy crash cymbals as well. I'll take it slowly. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Next two bars. In the next little four bar section, I feel like the hi-hats kind of continue on a bit more and don't play that offbeat feel as much. So this is what that will sound like.
The next two bars are the same as the first two. And in the next two bars, there's a killer little fill at the end. And then here's the last four bars. Here's that whole section all together. And that brings us to the end of the song. There are definitely some sections in there that are quite a challenge, so practice them up if you're up for it, but otherwise maybe just grab some ideas from this lesson and see if you can implement them in your own playing. Happy practicing with that one everybody, and I'll see you at the next lesson.